Okay, today's hit reps. You've got 10 reps of each of these exercises. So it's all legs today, legs and ass. So you're gonna step up on something you find challenging with a press. Now, if you're struggling or you're just starting out with us, you're gonna just leave the bag where it is and try and press with a weight. If you wanna take that down another level, you're just gonna do step ups. It's one leg. So 10 reps on one leg. Pick your leg. Go all out and do 10 reps as fast as you can. Make sure your knees aren't going over your toes and when you drive up, using your body with a slight bend in the knee. Change sides, 10 reps, come on, push. Keep going. I want you to drive up, really engage the foot on the board and then drive up, use your glutes, use your hamstrings, use your quads. These are huge muscles. These will help you burn fat, gain lean muscle, but you need to push. Don't just go through the motions, really try and get some weight. You can always drop the weight down on the next rounds. So just give it a go. Keep going, all the way up. Come on, you've got 10 of these, that's all. Well done. Okay, next one. You can either do a half burpee or you can jump. Are you ready? Half burpee, one push up, and then you're gonna jump on the board. Now, as you can see, I'm not using the most ideal thing to jump on, but it's all I have handy. I want you to make sure that whatever you're jumping on is safe. It's got a st really sturdy floor and that you are able to step, jump, and land softly, making sure that your knees are bent and when you land, I want a nice quiet jump on the board, a nice quiet jump back to support your knees and joints. It's very important that once you've done your press up, you then set yourself and jump. There's 10 of these, give it a go. If you're finding that the jump is becoming just a little bit too much, cut the jump out and add a tuck jump. Keep going all the way. This is what's gonna push you. This is what's gonna make you stronger. You just need to go. Scissor jumps. So find something. I'm using some steps. Are you ready? It's 10 each side, so 20 in total. I want you to find something that actually is high enough that you have to step and engage your glutes and engage your hamstrings and quadriceps. It's got to be tough. Don't just tap the feet on the floor. Find something to do it on. Use your staircase. Lunge and press is your last exercise. It's 10 each side. I'm gonna elevate. You can just do it off the floor if you need to. But I yeah. really urge you to push yourself and try. So you're gonna lunge down, lift up. Lunge down, lift up. So making sure that the knee is not going over the toe at the front and your body is a straight line. All the way down, all the way up. Now try and lunge as low as you can all the way down, all the way up, engaging the core, engaging your glutes, keep going. 10 one side and then 10 the other. Go on, all the way, you can do this. <laughs> I know you're gonna wobble like me. It's not easy, especially if you're on wood floors or you've got benches that move, but you just need to keep your balance and work through it. Keep going. You've only got 10, keep pushing all the way. Use those legs, well done all the way down, all the way up. That's it. This is your last one. So let's get some abs involved. I'm using sliders. We're gonna do in and out abs. Let's go, in and out. So, bottom is low. Abs are engaged. We're gonna do 10 of these. If you haven't got any sliders, you can use a towel, you can use whatever you need. If you wanna do mountain climbs, you can do 20 mountain climbs instead. Keep going. Well done. Hit it again, try for three rounds.